NBC moderator Matt Lauer in the crosshairs from all sides, especially in the media, over last night's Commander in Chief Forum. New York Times saying that he hammered Clinton but surrendered to Trump. Trump supporters feeling exactly the opposite. Howard Kurtz, Fox News media analyst, host of Media Buzz. How you doing, Howie? Good morning to you. Good morning, uh, Bill. Analyze well, it. How'd it go? Well, you know, 98% uh, of the criticism of Matt Lauer is hyperpartisans on both sides, with one exception, which I'll come to. I think he did a pretty solid job. Ironically, conservative media sites, when the program was announced, said, oh, he's going to go easy on Hillary Clinton because he once went to a Clinton Foundation event. Let's take a look at a couple of questions that Matt Lauer asked the former Secretary of State, beginning with questions about her private email. You were communicating on highly sensitive topics. Why wasn't it more than a mistake? Why wasn't it disqualifying? How do you think these people feel when the person running to be their commander in chief says her vote to go to war in Iraq was a mistake? So, no softballs over the plate there, uh, Bill. And then mm -hmm. uh, the similar treatment when Donald Trump took the chair moments later. But what have you done and in your life that prepares bad. you to send men and women of the United States into harm's way? When you Politics say inflammatory things in a presidential cam campaign, it's different than saying them when you're commander in chief. If you say things I you regret when you're commander in sure. chief, you can spark a conflict, you can destabilize a region, you right. can put American lives at risk. Can we afford to take that risk with you? That was major league pitching, Bill. Yeah. Um, there is criticism for interruptions, and I, I think you hear it from both sides in the following uh, bit from the New York Times. Quote, Lauer interrupted Clinton's answer repeatedly to move on, not once for Trump. Norman Ornstein, the political commentator, wrote in a Twitter message adding, tough to be a woman running for president, end quote. I think you could flip it around. I think the Trump folks feel the same way. What do you think, Howie? What have you picked well, I think Hillary Clinton, as is her style uh, when she gets into the weeds of policy a bit, gave longer answers. And so Matt Lauer has 24 minutes. He's trying to move it along. I, we've all faced this. You don't want to over, over interrupt and step on the person. The idea that it's sexist, as the Center for American Progress suggests, seems to me to be silly. She should be held to the same standard. Um, and they both got tough questions. Now, the one place where Matt Lauer uh, slipped up was when Donald Trump said, I oppose the war in Iraq and so forth. Because a year ago, when I interviewed Trump, I pressed him on the fact that there was no evidence, there's no public record that he said anything uh, in opposition. In fact, he had said some, some sympathetic things before the invasion in March of 2003. In 2004, lots of people were against it. It was much easier to be against the war at that point. Um. Watching this thing on Twitter is something else. I think what the organizers wanted, frankly, was more questions from, from the veterans. Um, but they are very pleased, as Rykoff told us a few moments ago, that they've got some attention on this. Uh, we've analyzed the moderator a lot. Okay, from Politico, here it is. Now, less than three weeks before the general election first debate, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton shared a stage for the first time on Wednesday night. Neither appeared ready for the brightest lights of 2016 as they flashed the very liabilities that makes their backers uneasy. Clinton wobbled on style. Trump stumbled on substance. You put a lot of attention on Lauer, but one of these two will be president, Howie. Yeah, and I think that's kind of a fair framing of it because, look, Hillary Clinton, as the former chief diplomat, has a lot more substantive knowledge, but she does struggle and is sometimes on the defensive, whether the subject is the intervention in Libya, Benghazi, of course, or her own email scandal. With Donald Trump, uh, you know, he says things like, and was asked about this by Lauer, you know, I know more than the generals, we will bomb the blank out of ISIS, um, and sometimes seems, and then, of course, there was, he opened the door to criticism because he said nice things about Vladimir Putin while criticizing American generals. So both their strengths and weaknesses were on display. Uh, the best moderator in the world uh, can't change that. I mean, what partisans want is for you to just pummel the person into submission. Uh, and, you know, sometimes we don't follow up because we know the clock is running and you want to get the next question. And your head's full of a lot of stuff. Thank you, Howie. Howie Kurtz there in Washington with some analysis.